Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to fetch the data that we have inserted using a pop-up model. So before getting started, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe and hit on the bell icon. So whenever I upload a new video, you will get a notification on it. Do follow me on my Instagram page as well. Let's get started. In previous video, we have discussed how to insert data using pop-up model. In this video, we will be fetching those data which is stored in the database. If you have not yet watched this previous video, do watch it. I will give you the link in the description so that you will understand what is happening in this video. Let us open the code. And here, we will be fetching it in this index page itself. So I'll give you an index.php inside card body. We'll create a table and we'll fetch. For table design, open get bootstrap, click on doc and check for the latest version here. And give tables. You get your sample design. Let's copy the sample and design accordingly. Let us copy this, paste it inside card body. So here, let us go and reload now. Reload. You got the table but we don't require all this data we'll just give table bordered so give your table striped or table border now reload we have table striped and let us give table border as well here Give the ID, name, phone number, email, and we have the phone number. And here, let us remove this 2TD. We'll keep only this for now. Let's go and reload. I'm using table danger as well. Copy paste and reload okay done so now what we have to do is we should get all the data which is there in this database right this table after table body open close php and we have to write the query so the first thing is the connection so in code.php we have done the connection so do watch the previous video to understand this. Now let us copy this and paste it in our index.php. After connection, we are just going to write the query to fetch all those data. So give dollar fetch query is equal to select star i mean star it means all the data from table test so select star from test we are selecting all the datas after that give a fetch query run is equal to using my skli query function we have to connect our database as well as this fetch query so copy this and paste it once this is done we have to check if there is data existing in that particular table for that if using my sqli num row function we can check if there is data in that particular table if my sqli num row fetch query run is greater than zero so greater than zero means data is available so if the data is available we are going to fetch it through loop using while or for each else we'll just close and open php we are just echoing here in a tabular format that if there is no data display no record found so tr no record found and give your call span 
of four. So if there is no data, this message will be displayed. If there is data, we'll just use a while loop. So while dollar row is equal to using my SQLI fetch array of fetch query run copy paste and echo dollar row of id load and check if this id is displaying then we'll just cut this and paste it there go back reload so here you can see two data we have id number one and two which is there in a database one and two so what we'll do is We'll just comment this code. Comment. And here we have to divide PHP. Cut this TR and paste it here. Once we are here, let us remove this thing and copy this open close php once again paste it so we have the id let us remove these things copy paste 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 name email and phone number now let us go and reload this go back reload you can see you're getting all the data perfectly. We didn't change this. Let us change this. So here, pop-up model crud. Fetch data from database. But, okay, reload, you got it. So this is how we fetch the data. Here, what we'll do is, view edit delete here add a dd an anchor tag give class btn btn info and then view data similarly copy paste this twice and then edit we'll give it in green color delete we'll give it in red color edit data delete data let us go reload now okay let's make this button small to give button small let's see this if this is what we want yes now copy this class name paste it here and here as well now let us go and reload that's it in this video in next video we'll see how to view individual data using a pop-up model and i hope this video was helpful if you have any doubt or suggestion, let me know in the comment section. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.